Hello, Andy. Um, Hello. It's a couple of weeks since we've done this. Can you give us sort of a brief roundup of what's been happening in terms of injuries and training and things like that? Yeah, I suppose the last time we did an interview was straight after the, um, the yeah. Chippenham game when we won. Uh, and the week after that, we, we went down to Reading Enzians um, and we always knew that was going to be a tough fixture. Um, but there were some positives that came from that. Alex Miller made his first team debut um, in the front row and, and had an excellent game. Um, so quite pleased that, uh, that he was able to get back and, and, and play so well for us. Um, but we did pick up a few injuries mm -hmm. um, even before that game. Uh, and we've been struggling really ever since. So after that game on the Tuesday night, uh, we played Abbey in the in the cup mm -hmm. and um, and and lost. And you know, we we were struggling with injuries, um, but I still felt that there was enough uh, ability out there to win it. I sort of said to to Mike that I felt it was probably the worst game we played in two years. Um, and when you consider how many games we've lost here over the, that period of time and. How many, some of the, how big some of the score lines have been, it sort of puts you into perspective. But you know, I was pretty down after that. I thought we just we could have, we could and should have won, and we, and we didn't. So you got to give credit to, to to Abby. Once they realised they were in with a sniff, they they certainly didn't hold yeah. that place up. Um, so we've sort of put that behind us pretty quickly. Thankfully, we didn't have a game at the weekend, which meant that we could, you know, just forget about it completely. Uh, and then we've been working towards obviously the the home game this weekend against. Uh, against Bridgewater um, and, and hoping we can reproduce the same sort of form as we did against Chippenham and get that same feel good factor uh, after that game. Okay so injuries and sort of team selection and things for Saturday are you having any problems getting a team together there's a second a uh, third team match isn't there as well on Saturday? Yeah so some of the sort of headaches that I get or have been getting through the season is not so much being getting a first team out it's just being able to get three sides out so we don't have that pressure on us anymore um, you know, in some respects, we're going to have a, a bit of a headache as to uh, where we play some of the players because obviously not everybody can play in the first team. Um, there is no second team for them to play in. Um, so what do we do with regards to putting them in the third team, if at all? Um, so that headache's it's not there of, of getting numbers out, but uh, we we just wait for some fitness on Paul Hawkins. Um, who's struggling really after that uh, Abbey game, struggling before he went into it to be honest uh, and in an ideal situation we would have played him in that game but it was a case of having to so he's been struggling since um, waiting for Max as well so if either one of those can come through we're, we're okay uh, hooker wise we're looking good in that Tony Flynn um, is, is, is available to us um, Tom Sanders is, is fit again um, and um, Eddie Cleal is there so hooker wise we're okay um, and um, Alex Miller obviously from a front row point of view second row um, looking good got good numbers there same in the back row and then the back line is starting to sort of settle into some form of um, um, c continuity the only one that, that won't make it is Joe Wood who mm -hmm. was stretched off against Abbey uh, thankfully that was just a sprain to the ankle but it's certainly not going to be fit enough to play this weekend um, but hopefully we might see him again before the end of the season but you know, the odd one every now and again is we can deal with it. It's when the whole team changes week on week yeah. that it's been difficult. So hopefully we can then um, say uh, remuster and, and, and put in a good performance for the weekend. Um, a team, by my calculations, if they get their bonus point uh, win at the weekend, will be in a position where they cannot be overtaken. Um, they will still need to, to get that extra point to, to secure the league title unless the, the teams in the second place don't get a bonus point. Um, so it's looking good for them. Um, so yeah, all looking looking good for the weekend. Okay, thanks, Andy.